Welcome back to your local cable programming Gundam show, apparently. Sorry. Um, no, we're playing Mirror's Edge Catalyst, and I could not, I literally could not get a word in edgewise uh, the previous episode, but... Sorry. Ooh, who has a job for me? Oh, uh, hey. Hey, girl. That very nice so lady. So, I'd like... Wow, this cable is really pretty in the yeah, sunset. It's actually really nice, and I think the. Um, but anyways, I okay. Game mechanics that were introduced last time. I yeah. like the waypointing. Um, I guess this is an open world. Oop, I went the wrong way. Shit. Oh my problem. But I like the way the waypointing works yeah however this is apparently an open world but i can't tell because i'm just following the trail every time gotcha. like i'm clearly going over the same like this area i i'm starting to recognize as being the same over and over yeah i like the role that i learned i like the ability to learn new things i wonder if that's going to be incorporated yeah, like to, more like are there going to be parts of this world that are inaccessible to me Damn it, you've ruined everything. okay i need to retry I'm who's going. yelling at you the person who i think she gave me like some little and you momento. literally have like a minute yeah to Damn. to do it but it's fine but i like that i yeah see i'm giving it away don't break Gotcha, so it's probably got something hidden on the inside of it or something. Yeah, or something. But anyways... She's talking about her ex or something. But anyways... Oh, okay. I like that. I like the combat mechanic, surprisingly enough. It's very fluid. Oh, yeah. I, I really like this role. Yeah, the role. <laughs> I saw you fighting the bicyclists in the last episode. Yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, Damn. That's sad. So basically, her ex boyfriend just dumped her ass, and she's like, fine, take your your trinket back. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Man, this I really is hope like, it's right there. It better be right there. Like he's on the roof or something yeah. like that. Man. That's that's brutal. Like you literally I just did a whole like mission. I know it was an intro mission and it was like fine. Yeah. But I just kind of ran through it without really Long thinking death. about what I was doing. I was just following the markers. And yeah. now this is like oh shit, don't screw up. Yeah, this is like literally you have under a minute to get good. Yeah. Ugh. You know, it's funny, like, um, I saw this thing, like, Extra Credits was talking about uh, science fiction games, because you don't really see a lot of, like, serious science fiction games, and you don't see a lot of new ideas being put into, um, like, science fiction uh, worlds and games and everything like that, but I look at this, and this feels like... I mean, it's an exaggerated look at the future to an extent, but it's also a very believable one. Yeah, it's it's more believable than many that I've seen, that's for sure. Yeah, like, I look at this like, well, you just picked up a memento from a woman on a rooftop. And, oh, there you oh go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, wow! I yeah. literally just enough time. But, like, look at him. That's like a, yeah, a normal, normal everyday stuff. outfit. Like, yeah, it's it's weird that they're chilling on the rooftop. But that's also because they're expecting illegal deliveries, you know, like... Okay, so this looks like... I think I already did that. This is the one I... The dash I just did. Okay. So it looks like I gained missions through... So it's like a regular job. Like, you do a good job and then you get another job. That's cool. What did I just get? You got... Served? Yeah, just go down there. Just made it. Yeah, I like... Oh, there's another mission right there. Yeah, so this is... This is, like, truly open world? I guess? 
I, I guess maybe, like, the missions will probably take you further and further out, so that way you're not just the same rooftops. Yeah, I also was reading that you can, there's three levels of runner's vision, or whatever this is called. Okay. Like, basically, there's this, which I think I picked, which is, like, the highest level, where it's, like, seriously, go this way. Gotcha. Then there's ones that is, like, half of this many directions, but still a lot of directions. Okay. Holy crap, I'm timed again? Yeah, yeah, I was looking at that. He's, he's over there somewhere. What? Or she. Oh, uh, no. Abort. Abort. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just gonna keep whatever's in this too. Peace. Yeah, like, Peace. Okay, so... People will die? Calm the fuck down. Yeah, right? Okay. Oh, and you got a stamina bar, too. Oh, wait. Let's select? Yeah, okay. Messenger girl. Head back to see Birdman. Uh, that's probably continuing the story. Wait, Michael Keaton's in this? Shut up. You already made that joke. Oh. Three episodes ago. <laughs> we, no, that was Icarus. No, he said we're gonna go see Birdman. Oh. And you said shit. Michael Keaton, teach you how to act, etc., etc. Alright. Four runners kits available. Is that just... Okay. This you know what, just from now on, map. let's just write down all the jokes yes. we make. That's a city. I two... Talk to Noah. Okay, so I can come back and talk to Noah. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, cool, and it just gives you your little, your GPS, basically. I wish it was a little quicker. Fair enough. That. You know, like, it just took me a sec to, for it to kind of be like, this is the way to go. I mean, if they're going to give me GPS, it yeah. should be, like, seamless, fluid, whatever you want to call I'm it. I'm kind of curious as to what the overall story is going to be. Since it's an open world, you get to, you probably do it in stints. Yeah, I bet, like, those seem like random side missions, like, they're yeah. clearly not required. Yeah, that girl's little statuette from her ex-boyfriend is probably not going to be, you know, oh, you gave that over? Oh, it was a nuke! See, I'm going this way. I do not know if this is the right way to go. Oh, you know what it is? There's probably multiple ways to go, especially yeah. if there's no timer. That you did mention, like, there are... They said that the Wayfinder will give you a direct route, but it's not necessarily the fastest route. Yeah. So you can go other ways. Okay, so this is like my Hello Corridor 1 that I will continue to go. Oh, oh yeah, we're just gonna again. memorize this thing. I'm like, this is the exact same thing over and over again. I kind of wish they would separate plot missions versus like right side like mission. am i doing a plot mission i'm honestly not sure yeah i'm fairly certain that talking to noah and getting more animals for the ark is the way forward that'd be pretty cool if you had to just run across the rooftops holding a pig oh there's something there i probably need another ability to get that yeah or like a shimmy or something like that that's a little metroidvania e i like it yeah all right if you blast this wall there'll be some uh new health tank behind it for you hack screen Up. You just hacked your own email account. Yeah, what What did I do? You hacked it. I put a symbol on it. That's your symbol now. And you hacked it with a touch, which is how... Yeah, this is this is plot. Yeah, I figured as much. Sup, old dude? And young. Oh, they're going! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, that's exactly what I did. I'll go. This is not George Clooney, right? No. Because it <laughs> totally sounds like him. He's even got the same attitude like when he had... Oh, that laissez-faire, like... Bro, a game of Go is definitely not over. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, look at that. They, yeah. Look it's at not the, fucking... The board. It's not chess. I it's, won? No, you no, didn't win. he... I just saw the board... The kid sucks. He basically, the guy there, Noah, just completely surrounded him, so the kid just lost all of his points. So? There's like a bunch three more board quarters left. of the board I left. agree. The kid, this kid's a shitty player who's like, oh, I've lost those pieces. I've lost the entire game. Bro! <laughs> Apparently, you don't appreciate, what is it? 2300 years of history yeah right? you know this was a thing though it's actually i i like that he freaked out because uh patrick and i were playing go for a long time and he bought a book on it 
uh, all about like how to learn about Four. it, its history and everything like I that. And he and I are going through it. And he and I, when we opened it up, cracked up laughing because right. the first I'll picture it, in the book is a painting oh, of a man. couple of samurai and plain go. And one of the samurai, thinking the guy who didn't win, is literally go. flipping the go board. Nice. <laughs> like, oh you know, hey, so at if it. you've ever been so upset <laughs> that you'll flip a board. If you've ever been so mad at losing a game that someone immortalized it in a painting, you are nice. maximum butthurt. I, we and I looked at it, we just had got this huge, like, you know, kick out of it. We're like, wow. Because he looks mad and it looks like he's going for his sword. So it's like... Yeah. Hey, I wonder. I'm, I'm very interested in seeing if a timer is a key mechanic to this because it looks like they reduced the difficulty of puzzling. Yeah. Like I with this runner's vision or whatever it is. Yeah, your eagle I, vision. Yeah. Um. They've obviously like I don't need to figure out which way to go. I can, it is. It's blinking like a siren yeah. light. Yeah. Like. So I wonder what the... It might be for the side missions, the little short stuff. They're like, no, you have... And I guarantee you there's going to be a chase scene in this where it's like, you have one minute to get out of this building. Okay. That's Icarus, right? Yes. Okay. You can tell because he has his little straps on his uh, open hoodie. Why? Yeah, thank you. I was looking at those. <laughs> like, like, what are the... But he's Look, so you can, uh, don't want your pants to fly away? Like... Is security really that lax? I just noticed his gloves. That go up to anymore. his elbows. Those are the same ones I'm wearing. Apparently, they're like go ahead. Runner they're magic. They're match. I yeah, they're like standard gear, I guess. All right, I'm, the open window. All right, I'm not gonna lie. If we get to the end of this game, and then like it's just Faith standing in front of an animus from Assassin's Creed. I really would not be surprised. No, not based on the way this is going. Also, but this is, if I remember right, and I keep saying it, did I find the open window? I did. Yep. Oh, made it. Um. Good. There might be a few employees around burning the midnight oil. And keep an eye on the midnight. It's like six o'clock in the afternoon. It is perpetually. Like dusk, apparently. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Like every time, it's like, wow, this place looks awesome in the sunset, and continuing to look good at the sunset, and still sunset. Or maybe it's gonna be one of those things where like everything takes place in like two days, so oh, it'll be a so it has to be like that. Yeah, yeah and it'll be like you could do seventeen hundred running back and forth missions, but it'll still be seven o'clock. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, I'm not complaining. But, yeah, so this is a prequel. So, A, spoiler alert, she doesn't die. Yeah, I know. Can I just punch it? Find an elevator, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, isn't the elevator, like, the transition stuff where you just hit the button? It's always the transition stuff. I'm a little confused, though. Is, is now my thing not... That's a refrigerator. Runner's vision connected. Press right stick to go. Hold right to. Sure. What am I doing online? Runner's vision online. Um, I'm a little confused too. Well, there's got to be a uh, elevator? An elevator somewhere. Maybe down there. No, wait. Hey. There's the line. Uh, oh, there is something. I didn't think. So they want you to. Oh. Oh, I didn't even realize those were three dimensional. Me either. Hi. You know what? Wow, this is very disorienting. This is so disorienting. It's cool. That would fall right the hell off. As a person who's installed stuff like that, that's yeah, not that's... meant for a average height Asian woman weight. <laughs> Wait. It, it wants you to go this way and follow those people who will never look down. Damn. I mean, I wouldn't look down. I don't know. I mean, like, what if you check your phone or something like oh, that? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, that's true. You are going to notice. Yeah, like, oh, the missus is calling me, and oh, my God, what's with, you know, parkour lady? 
Oh, never mind. This isn't about transition. No. This is just straight elevator shaft climbing. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be the new thing in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> you mean besides getting the Zika virus? Nice. Is it too soon? So, good thing uh, that they're going where I need to. And they're not gonna mission impossible me. Yeah, right? This would kill your arms. I mean, I guess if you're used to it. Yeah, but I'm just hanging out. But not only that, though, but then the, the sudden motion and stopping and everything like that. Like, I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. I am saying that players like rock climbers and can hang on forever. That's true, I guess. I mean, I'm still getting used to, like, just losing weight, and, it, and the definite improvement I feel in my body already, so now the idea of it's like, oh yeah, rock climbers just hanging on to, like, a rock for 40 minutes at a time, like, that doesn't sound like crazy Jedi powers anymore. I don't know, that sounds pretty crazy Jedi powers to me. I, I love that there's no one in this building. A, there's no one, and B, security. Oh, so we all know that air ducts are bullshit, right? Yeah, air ducts are 100% like, bullshit. You can't do that shit. No. You have, I think you have to run a little... Yeah, there, there you go. I figured that. Uh, no, like, if you open up an air duct A, that's where all the dust in the building is. Either the cleaning lady gets rid of some of it... Or it goes all to the air duct. They are disgusting. And they're not nice and happy and smooth like this. And they're also not this big. No! Like, you cannot fit in this. Also, like everything else that's built, it's built to carry as much weight as it's going to regularly deal with. The floor in an office building is meant to have furniture and people in it Oh constantly. yeah, like, this is just some sort of aluminum... Ducking, exactly. But... It, it's not meant to have spies climbing through it regularly. It's like, did you, remember, did you ever see that Not Another Teen movie that came out like when we were in high school? Vaguely, yeah. There was a one of the jokes that is very ham-fisted joke, but it was like three of the middle schoolers are like for whatever reason go climbing into the air ducts to go uh, like stare at some girl in the bathroom that they think is hot. And so, but there's a warning sign over the uh, the air duct that says uh, can only hold the weight of two and a half middle school boys, and there's three of them. Oh, okay. So that like halfway through their thing, they fall out, and it's like, well, because it can't handle the weight, ha ha ha. I'm like, this joke isn't funny. So I fell down, and I'm not there. We go. Yeah. You fall in and you can't get up. Is Glass the name of the company? Glass, it's the city of Glass. Oh, it's just straight up called that. I thought it was just like the, a moniker, like the Big Apple. Son of a bitch. I mean, I'm not complaining. I know now I need to look at where I want to go. go. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully none of her friends see this. Please? <laughs> Okay. They're just gonna make fun of her, like, you can't even get up on top of that lighting fixture. <laughs> like, shut up, it's my first okay, day. Okay, right Alright, that was the wrong way anyway. Yeah. Alright, alright. Yeah. There now we we're cooking with gas in this very real looking office. I gotta Again, admit, yeah. this totally looks like a place that exists now. This looks like the World Financial Center. <laughs> yeah, it does actually, yeah. <laughs> Okay. When was the last time you were there? Oh, I'm there every day. I pick up from a uh, cupcake place there. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. I used to work down there doing security. There you go. Yeah. Dude, look at this Future Star computer. Trek nonsense. This is well, great. Well, I think we got, like... Oh. We have Sam Fisher? <laughs> yeah. Black Ops? Yeah, right? Did she just flashbang? No, 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 no. It was to blow the lock. I don't think he was gonna flashback when he was wearing night vision. Why does he have night vision? It's, it's six o'clock. It's six o'clock in the afternoon. It's, Apparently, it's because he has become night. He is the night. Destroyer of worlds. Yeah, right. Oh. And you're gonna chase the ninja with flashbacks. Right? Like, he's clearly very well equipped. <laughs> you, as opposed to me, who's, who's just chilling. Clearly, you know, shops at the Puma store three times a week. Absolutely. 
Well, you know what? This air duct into an, a very obvious next area is a good place to end this episode. All right. And I'm looking forward to encountering Sam Fisher. Yeah, right. I wonder we'll f- if we'll get on the blacklist. Oh. See you guys next time. See you next time, folks. <laughs>